dead body. The wait is almost over everybody. Anyways, welcome back True Believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans to another very exciting Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video. And with all the exciting gaming festivities in store for the May 24th date of the PlayStation Showcase, we're all obviously expecting to finally receive even more official details and hopefully a full-on gameplay demo of Marvel Spider-Man 2 in action during this event. With a little bit of hope in there to also see more of Marvel's Wolverine as well. So even though PlayStation PlayStation went on to inform us about their official update for the PlayStation Showcase, that doesn't mean that that's the only update relating to Marvel's Spider-Man 2. There's also been quite a few new pieces of information that have surfaced from very reliable insiders and official Sony employees. But given the track record of this one particular industry insider's history, as well as what we already can expect from Insomniac Games in general, I personally have no reason to doubt them. But still, make sure to take everything that this source says with a grain of salt. However, I'm actually going to begin with the official source from the one and only Lion Jim Ryan himself. Where if you don't already know, Jim Ryan is the official president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. I for one am personally not all that fond of some of the business decisions that he's made for the PlayStation brand in recent months. But regardless, Jim Ryan has definitely been hyping up this upcoming PlayStation showcase and pretty much saying that it's going to be one for the history books. But more importantly, in the case of Marvel's Spider-Man, 2, he did go on to update us about what exactly we can expect from the game considering that it is in fact a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Whereas it was reported by NESBot on Twitter, is that this brand new interview with Jim Ryan on Famitsu does go over the importance of Japanese market and games, Spider-Man 2 on PS5, PSVR 2, and PC ports two to three years after game's release. Now embedded within this article is a question from the interviewer to Jim Ryan stating, PlayStation Studios plans to release Marvel Spider-Man 2 in 2023. Please tell us your thoughts on this work. Where Jim Ryan goes on to say, I'm sure Marvel Spider-Man 2 will be a very exciting launch because Marvel Spider-Man released on PS4 is the touchstone. The title was a huge success on PS4 and was enjoyed by millions of users. The sequel, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, is being developed exclusively for PS5, so the developers, Insomniac, have made no compromises. We asked them to focus on maximizing the functions of the PS5 and creating the best works. As a result, we've received feedback from game fans that it looks like they'll be able to enjoy really beautiful visuals and a wonderful experience. And I have no doubt in my mind that that is 110% going going to be the case. If you're someone who's already played Marvel Spider-Man Remastered and Miles Morales on the PS5, as well as the PS5 exclusive from Insomniac Games of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, then you can already see a clear insight as to what exactly Insomniac is capable of doing on the full-on PS5 platform without having to be forcefully restrained by making the game a cross-generation title. And at this point, especially given what we've already seen in the initial teaser trailer, I am flat out expecting mind-blowing graphical imagery, undoubtedly immersive gameplay mechanics incorporated into the DualSense controller, as well as all the other nuts and bolts that could be added into the game like 60 FPS performance mode, ray tracing, super fast SSD loading times, and hopefully much, much more. And considering the massive amount of anticipation surrounding this game, I have no doubt that the footage that we will see of it during the PlayStation Showcase will for sure be worth the wait. But on the extremely slight chance that we don't see any Marvel Spider-Man 2 footage during the PlayStation Showcase, do keep in mind that there's also Jeff Keighley's Summer Game Fest starting on June 8th, and it was officially revealed from them that PlayStation is officially going to be one of the main partners presenting during that event as well. And on the flip side, the best case scenario would be that we see Marvel Spider-Man 2 at both of these events during the PlayStation Showcase on May 24th, and Jeff Keighley Summer Games Fest on June 8th. But it is going to be critically important for the general consumers to see exactly what fully differentiates Marvel's Spider-Man 2 from Insomniac's previous Spider-Man games. And in my personal opinion, the PlayStation Showcase is going to be that defining factor. Because if it turns out that these recent rumors relating to the PlayStation Showcase turn out to be true, then this is hands down going to be the greatest Spider-Man game ever made, and quite possibly the greatest superhero game of all time. We're coming from 
from Gaming Industry Insider of Millie A on Twitter, she went on to post something relating to the showcase after Sony's official announcement. And if you're wondering about Millie A's credibility, she has been extremely accurate with the majority of her previous posts, where if you recall, she previously reported that a Marvel employee supposedly thought that they were watching a cutscene while being shown real-time Marvel Spider-Man 2 gameplay. And given what she brings up in her latest post, that previous statement has been given even more depth. Where she went on to say, Remember when you saw light reflections on the car through the trees in Gran Turismo 3? Or Snake on the bridge in Metal Gear Solid 2? Killzone and Motorstorm for the first time on PS3 at E3. You, when you see the swing and jump animations of Spider-Man 2. No words. Now while I do personally believe Millie A's statements, that doesn't mean I'm all too shocked by her overall report. Just take a look at what Insomniac was able to do in a two year time span between Spider-Man PS4 and Spider-Man Miles Morales, where the swinging system in Miles' game compared to Peter's game feels completely different, and honestly is one of the best web swinging systems we've ever seen in an open world Spider-Man game. So taking all the main talent that Insomniac already has showcased with their previous Spider-Man games, applying that with a full-on next-gen exclusive with Marvel Spider-Man 2 only running on the PS5 makes me feel extremely confident when saying that Marvel Spider-Man 2 might end up including the best open-world traversal system we've ever had in a Spider-Man game. But if we do take Millie A's post at face value, we may just end up seeing movie-quality web-swinging animations like what we've seen in some of the live-action and even animated Spider-Man films. And if we're able to do even anything slightly like that within Marvel Spider-Man 2, then this is hands down going to be a revolutionary experience for the superhero game genre as a whole. And I for one am beyond ready to finally see what Insomniac has in store. But with all that said everyone, that's the video I have for you today and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think of these Marvel Spider-Man 2 statements coming from both Jim Ryan and Millie A on Twitter? Do you think Marvel Spider-Man 2 will fully utilize the power of the PS5 and what what type of gameplay mechanics would you want Insomniac to incorporate within the game that could only be done on a next-gen platform? For me personally, I'm still holding out hope for that quick change mechanic that I've wanted ever since the announcement of Spider-Man PS4 back in 2016. But we'll just have to wait and see if that dream ever becomes a reality. And until next time, true believers, stay spectacular Spidey fans, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy, and for more Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos like this in the future, we're so close to reaching 100,000 subscribers everybody, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned for any and all upcoming Marvel Spider-Man 2 updates. And until next time, everybody, peace out.